Speedbo Magazine here at the 2016 Performance Racing Industries Convention. Yes, snowy Indianapolis, Indiana is the home of this convention every year. Speedbo Magazine's here doing videos, interviewing people, and showing you what it's like in the performance racing industry's number one convention. Hi, we're in the Lucas Oil booth here with the founder of Lucas Oil, Forrest Lucas. Also to my right is the voice of radio, TV, and MAV TV, Dave Despain. Gentlemen, thank you both for being with Speedboat Magazine. Forrest, I'd like to start with you. We know we're trying to build up the marine side of the marine oil, but you have a new product line called Outdoor Line. Tell our viewership about that. That's a line of uh, firearm oil, everything you can think of for cleaning or lubricating your guns. And uh, any kind of gun. You know, we have one that uh, odorless for hunting, uh, but one for the AR-15s. Or, and uh, we've had a lot of professional shooters uh, test it out, and uh, they went way, way more shots than they ever thought possible. So now we've got, uh, I think, se our seventh, yesterday we set up our seventh uh, Colt, our seventh manufacturer who is recommending it, factor filling with it and recommending it. Now, some of the manufacturers are actually putting it in their product uh, cases with new guns, is that correct? That's correct. We're giving them a little sample and a little trifold there that tells a little bit about uh, us and about the manufacturer itself. And on the back, it tells a little, about, a little about Protect the Harvest. That's our cause, you know, as well as the gun oil. Well, give us two, two minutes on Protect the Harvest. Where is it going? We've read about it. We've seen it. Where do you think it is today? Well, we're... we're uh, we're getting ready to make some changes, kind of go to step two, but it's made a lot of difference. It's kept, it's kept the guys back in check in a, in a lot of ways. Uh, the other side, the NHR, or, uh, HSUS, PETA, those guys are the ones we're fighting against there. They're trying to terrorize everybody into uh, getting rid of their pets, you know, to stop eating uh, GMO foods. Uh, but the, uh, the, the animal industry is the main part where they're trying to get people to actually quit eating meat. They're, they are vegans. Shortly, take your rights away. Take all the rights away. You won't be able to hunt. Uh, you won't be able to, to uh, raise crops. You won't be able to have farm animals. You know, they, you know we fought a big battle against them seven years ago in Missouri. That, and uh, if they had won, uh, you wouldn't been able to farm. You wouldn't be able to raise animals there. We'd have enough. Stake wouldn't be big enough. You'd have to, you know, for every 20 acres, you could have maybe have a cow or something like that. Wow. Well, let me switch over here to Dave Despain. Dave, we don't want to sit you over here being left out. The voice of Speed Channel. The voice where Speed left you as you you are left left you and you were picked up by MAV TV. Put a deal together with Force. Uh, as I said earlier from the West Coast, bringing you back, your voice, <laughs> your expertise was second to none. Well, I appreciate that. It was, uh, it was a pretty dramatic time, obviously. Speed was an important part of the American racing scene for a long time. And I don't agree with a lot of the decisions Fox made in, in pulling a plug on that, but you know, I don't have any sour grapes either. It was a great opportunity for me. But at that point, I kind of had a decision to make. And I've always been enamored of grassroots racing uh, and it probably goes I mean it goes back to my childhood but uh, it, it was really ingrained during the ESPN days with uh, the Thunder show when we covered a lot of midgets and sprints silver crown cars and great opportunity to see the likes of Jeff Gordon and Tony Stewart come up through the ranks um, so I've, I've always had that appreciation and when the speed thing happened my first thought was the interview that Forrest was good enough to give us near the end of the speed era on wind tunnel. And I realized the extent to which we thought the same way about grassroots racing. I called him and long story short, within, I don't know, a couple of days we had a deal. And so I get to continue to do what I love to do and that's interview racers. Uh, that's the full spectrum from grassroots guys to you know some of the biggest stars in the game. It's a lot of fun. Speedbo Magazine here with Ken Jones, Pro Charger and Pro Charger Marine. We're not into the automotive, we're into the Marine side. Right. Tell us right. what you've got in the works coming back for the Marine. 
Sure, Jim. We've been uh, investing quite a bit of R&D in the marine market lately. We've uh, worked on uh, re-engineering the 496 uh, kits to offer uh, a higher boost in power level. And so we're, uh, we're going to continue to have the FMU offering at a lower price point, but we're reprogramming the ECUs now and offering a higher boost and off also offering our high latest high efficiency uh, compressor models. We've also redesigned the intercooler um, somewhat. It's just a fantastic new offering. Um, we've also begun uh, R&D on the 525 EFI and are, uh, are planning additional offerings soon for the marine market. Well, the marine market has not been in your forte for quite a while. When the economy kind of tanked, um, you kind of pulled back a little bit, understandably. But with the new products that you're working on, what is the interest out there? Yeah, I don't, I don't know that we pulled back so, as much as we just focused more on automotive. Uh, we've had tremendous growth in the automotive market. We're the world's largest aftermarket uh, supercharger company. We've doubled in size over the last three to four years, and so we've been investing in the, in the right opportunities. Um, we have the broadest product line on the automotive side, covering virtually every application, and we cover all the way up to 3,500 horsepower now, which is pretty great. Um, but given all that progress, it's time to work on the marine market. We also were busy inventing the world's first uh, programmable ratio supercharger. We've got over five patents on that product. You can actually uh, program the supercharger ratio on the fly. You can control it from the cockpit via a touchscreen. Just a great new product and part of our R&D in the marine market is exploring uh, how well that product would work in a marine application.